In this video, we are going to learn that how can a Spark streaming application read data from a folder, a folder in which a new data is being copied after every few seconds, few minutes or few hours. As soon as uh, some new data is copied in that folder, we would like to read that data in our Spark streaming application and then do some useful work. That's the purpose of uh, this video. Let us start with this demo. So what I have done is uh, I have already created few dummy files which I will use as input. This is one of them. Uh, you know, I have copied the same data in other files. Uh, I'm going to copy this data into stream input folder that is going to act as an input for our streaming job. Then let's not waste time. Let us start with our coding stuff. First, let us create one class, one Scala object, folder uh, streaming example. Okay, uh, so first thing first, we will create one Spark session. Okay, we are ready with our Spark session. Cool, let me also create one main function. Let's create one function, read folder data. Okay, I got to mention this. Okay, now let us read data from this folder. We'll say, we will create a data frame. Spark.readStream and we'll say, okay, uh, this is of uh, type let us set some settings header is equal to false i don't have any header in my file and then set schema in streaming job if you are reading data from a folder it is mandatory to mention the schema explicitly for that file so i have not created any schema you see my file there are only three columns id column name column and age column let us quickly create one schema for this i will create first uh, a package let me call it a common and then i will create package object okay in that package object i will say student schema and start creating schema for for a student okay struct field first one is id and then it is of uh, integer type and then we have a struct field of name and it is of string type and then we have a struct field of age which is of integer type again cool our schema is ready now i will use the student schema i need to import the class i need to import comments okay now we need to give we need to just load it let us give the path okay for simplicity of this let us just write this stream first of all we we'll need we need to tell it that uh, where we will write it we'll write it on console now we need to mention the output mode output mode here will be append now we need to just start it and then await termination cool we will call this function within our main method okay let us start our job something is showing up okay it looks like it has started let us copy this data in our streaming input folder and see awesome Let's copy some more data.
some more data okay you can see as we copied more data more batches were created and they just printed whatever newly da uh, added data was i hope this is useful for you to understand how streaming from a folder works this can be very useful in a lot of applications thank you for watching this video i hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel